Hello guys and welcome to a new Eurovision Hat video. Today is very special because we are continuing with our Mel Fest interview series. Before we get into the video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. And I can be happier because, as you can see, I have here with me Paul Ray. Yay! 2021, after your last participation last year, you achieved a very well-deserved because I was rooting for you a very well-deserved sixth place. So, thank you, thank you. Why Melfest 2021? Well, I love the experience that I had uh, from last year. It was so much fun and it went really well for me. And to me, it was just, if they want me back again, then I would love to be back. And uh, I think the song that I have this year is, I love it. I think it's really strong and uh, gladly Melody Festival and seem to like it as well. So I'm back. Yeah, I think also the fans of Melody Festival and are happy to have you back. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> you were talking to me about the song. It's called The Missing Piece. I know this yes. is a secret, but I'm going to, going to ask you a couple of questions about the song. So what can you tell me, first of all, about The Missing Piece? Well, The Missing Piece is a song that's really close to my heart. Uh, it's, about, it's about my daughter that was, and she was born only 16 days ago. Uh, so she's super new and we, I wrote this song, uh, in the summer this year when, uh, my wife was still pregnant and we were just awaiting our baby and, you know, all the emotions of becoming a parent for the first time and all this stuff. Um, and it's, it was a lot. So of course it became inspiration for music as well. So it's very, it's super close to my heart. So did you have a vision for the song or it just came out because of this experience you're telling me? Um, it just came out naturally. Uh, we were in the studio and kind of discussing our everyday situation where, where we were in life. And of course, the biggest thing for me was becoming a parent. And, uh, and then we kind of discussed uh, the emotions around that. And that led into the framing of, you know, the missing piece, like my daughter was the missing piece in my life. We know for Melody Festival and fans, especially also how important the songwriters are. I'm sorry in advance for saying the names, but you work with Frederick Sonforce and Laurel Barker. Yeah, no, that's uh, good. Exactly. Yeah. So what was that like? It was really, really nice. I've written with uh, Laurel Barker as well last year. And uh, our song that we wrote together was... Uh, in the competition last year with uh, Simon Peyron and Ele Benedictson. Uh, it's called The uh, Surface. Uh, so we have actually only written two songs together in our careers, and both of them have ended up on Melody Festival and now. So it just seems like a really good match. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and uh, and Fredrik Sonnefosch, uh, as a producer and songwriter, is also super, super impressive and really effective. So we, we wrote the song together, and it just worked really well, actually. We really want to know something about the song but right. this year we we have seen some releases you had made musically richest man alive mm. and mistakes which by the way is my favorite um, oh awesome thank you <laughs> yeah love it love it love it oh. is it going to be your new song similar to some of these two it's gonna have some reminiscence of talking in my sleep like it's going to be very different what can you tell us so it's going to be, if, if you've enjoyed my previous music, I think you're going to like this as well. It's not going to be the same, but it's in the same world. So I would, I would kind of say it like that. So it's not like The Missing Piece is all of a sudden a, a club song <laughs> and, uh, and just changes everything. It's still, it still sounds like uh, my previous work uh, and it's the same, it's, it's in the same atmosphere as that. Yeah. It has say. your essence well. Exactly. I I'm crossing fingers for you definitely, and I still didn't hear the song, but yeah. Okay, talking <laughs> about melody festival, and you know, it's talking about the stagings. It's like mm. uh, the song is important, but the staging sometimes it elevates the song, or or just it doesn't. Uh, yeah. 
your last staging was so good. It was so impressive. You feel like your home on, on the stage. So yeah. what do you think about the staging for this new song? Yeah, but we haven't uh, put down exactly all of the details, but I think it's really interesting now. It's of course a shame that we don't have crowds and we don't have any, any, any people in the audience, but I think we could also do something interesting when it comes to the performance now because of that. Now we have the whole room uh, kind of available for, for the TV performance. So I think maybe uh, that could be something interesting as well um to, to use but we haven't exactly uh, finished all of the details of it but it's it's gonna look very different from talking in my sleep well it sounds promising because at least i i see you have some idea like let's going to do something different yes and, and sometimes different wins and is what people like so yeah i'm excited well let's yeah. gonna play a quick game It's called okay. Song Association, but for you it's going to be a special Melfest edition. So I'm going to give you five words and yeah. you need to try to sing a Melfest uh -huh. song with that word in it. Yeah, ready? Okay. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> First word is middle. Wait, what? Middle. There should be a song, right? Oh, no. Yeah. No. You definitely know this one. Uh, oh, so shoot me in the middle <laughs> where my heart's supposed to be. Kawaii sings forever I'm not bulletproof. I'm not bulletproof. I don't have any hair, but... Yeah, you know. I can't either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, second word is emotions. Emotions, boys with emotions, hey, trying to hold it, hey, boys with emotions. Yeah, Felix Salman, of course. Yeah, okay, two out of two, we're going to the, yeah. with the third war, and it's yeah. take. Oh, take. Do I have take in talking about sleep? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 Robin Banks on, take a chance. Take a chance on me. We can make some history. Run away underneath. And we will be rising high above the sea. Take a chance on me. Last two words. So let's go okay. into first. And he's okay. love. There should be something with love, right? Come on. I guess so. Why, why am I blanking on love? <laughs> Is it too late for love? Is it too late for love? That's a jam. That's a jam. <laughs> You're going to kill that one. That's a jam. Of course. And the last word is yeah. awesome. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling awesome. I can't explain. Na 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 na. You're feeling amazing. Amazing. You're amazing. That's what you want. Yeah. Come on, Danny. Okay, five out of five. So we have to talk about some people like Danny or daughter, which are gonna be yeah. sharing stage with you. Which of the participants are you most excited to see this year performing? Um, I was really surprised and excited about Danny Salcedo because I, I know him pretty well and he's done really well uh, previously in Melody Festival and And I know his staging on his own shows, both the Runaway show and uh, the other one is like really, really, really impressive. So I'm really excited to see what he's doing, uh, mostly because of the staging and just him as an artist. So uh, it's going to be, that's, that's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, now that you have participated one in, in the Melody Festival, would you change anything for this second experience? I know that it's going to be different. Not that I wanted to change anything with talking to my sleep when it comes to the song or the number or the performance or anything like that. I'm really happy with that as a whole. But 
the 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 song that I'm participating with now, the missing piece, it's it allows it to be more in sync with what what I can do on the performance, what I can show, and what the song is about. It's really gonna be it feels it's gonna feel really complete and connected. And I think that that's gonna be on another level than talking in my sleep was with the song and the performance. Um, so I'm really excited about that to showcase the song and the lyrics visually really well. You know, if, and if you don't know, I'm Spanish and I know your mom right. is from Chile. So yeah, can yeah. you speak Spanish? Do you know how to say some things in Spanish or? I can speak a little bit. Yeah, I speak a little bit. I'm trying to get better every day, but I, I can speak <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> can you tell me something? Uh, sí, por supuesto. ¿Qué quiere, qué quiere saber? Okay, okay. I trust you. I trust you now. <laughs> Ah, uh, solo un poquito, ¿no? Un poquito, yeah. <laughs> un poquito. Eh. Uh, this is the moment. I'm going to ask you about some of your favorite songs, but because mm. well, you know more Spanish than your Swedish fellows, uh, which is your favorite or a song in Spanish that you really like? Oh, my favorite song in Spanish. Wow. From the classical stuff that I grew up listening to, I, I listen to a lot of uh, Buena Vista Social Club because my mom lived in Cuba for, for a while growing up. I think uh, Dos Gardenias is really nice. Dos Gardenias para ti. Con ellos quieres decir. Te quiero. Te adoro. <laughs> mi vida. I love that one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now, you proved that you can speak Spanish. So, yes. One point for you. I don't know how. I'll be voting for you. <laughs> also, what's your favorite Melfes song? Felix Sandman. Uh, when he did the, the ballad every single day but my heart can catch a break i think about you every single day it's beautifully written he does it really well i love the arrangement of it how how naked it is and how emotional he was in the performance uh it is it, it is my it is my favorite song from from Melfast. i have to agree because it was my favorite also that year and last question what is your yep. favorite eurovision song of all times of all time it is i mean uh, the impact that lorraine had with euphoria and kind of how it changed just it changed. the way sweden looks at melfest and eurovision and everything it was just insane and i remember it it was such a huge thing in sweden like the song and her performance and how big it became and so i would just say that because of the impact was just huge Before we, we say goodbye, I can ask you to sing me your new song, but could you sing me the chorus or a little part of, for example, Mistakes or Talking in My Sleep or Riches Men Alive, for example? Yeah, so... Uh... I, don't, I could live without money It would mean nothing to me As long as you're by my side I'm the richest man alive yeah, you beautiful. Go. Thank you so much for, for being with us today. It has been an absolutely pleasure. I wish you the best of the luck. I know you're going to do great. Like it's your second participation. You did great in the first one. It's difficult because it's Melody Festival, but mm. I have faith in you. And yeah, I'm sure you're going to do very well also this year. Thank you so much. I hope so. And thank you for having me. And it's, it, was, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much, Paul. Yeah, thank you. Take okay. care. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Nos vemos. Ciao.